Today, I'm going to show you guys how to fix FPS drops and stuttering in Fortnite. This method works for every game, but I will be using Fortnite as an example inside of this video. By using this, you will get a FPS boost and fix most of the lags and stutters. So, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button for more content. Let's dive into the video. So, in order to do that, all you guys need to do is press the Windows and the R at the same time to open up the run bar. Then go ahead and type in reg. Edit to open up the registry editor. Once you guys are here, all you guys need to do, expand down the edge current key. user. Then go ahead and expand down softwares inside of here. Then go down and expand the Microsoft. So, once you have expanded down the Microsoft key, you guys will need to find the direct sub key. Now some of you guys might not have this key. So all you need to do is right click on the Microsoft, click on new, click on key, and then go ahead and type in direct X. Then go ahead and press enter. Since I already have so, that, it's not gonna let me do that. But for you guys, it will create a key. Once the key is created, all you guys need to do is go ahead and click on it, and then expand it down to user GPU preferences. Once again, if you don't have this, all you need to do is right click under X new key, and then go ahead and type in user GPU references. I already had that once again, so it's not gonna let me do but that. once you have created this up key, user GP you preference, go ahead and open it up. Right click here, click on new, and click on string value. Now as for the name of this value, we will be using the directory of our dot. X file for our game. So in case of Fortnite, all you guys need to do is open up this PC. Going to the driver, you installed it. Program files. Epic Games Fortnite. Fortnite game binaries. Win64 then go ahead and copy this path. Make sure that you copy all of this path and you guys need to go ahead and rename this. Then go ahead and paste that path and press enter. We are not done yet. We need to go ahead and put in the .x file as well so in our. Did you do that? Once you guys are inside of the directory, scroll down till you guys can find the .x file. In case of Fortnite, it is this first one. And all you guys need to do is right click rename and make sure that you copy the whole file name with the .x extension as well. Just in case that you guys don't see the dot. X extension. All you need to do is go into view and make sure that file name extensions is checked. This is going to make sure that you see the dot X extension as well. So right click on it rename. Copy this whole file name. And then what we need to do is right click on this once again click on rename. And before pasting it, we need to put a backslash. And then go ahead and control V to paste the dot X. Press enter and it will create the value. Since I already have that, so, it's not gonna do so, that. Once you guys have created this string, you guys call. need to do is double click on it to open it up. And inside of the value data, we need to type in GPU. Preference equals zero. And then semicolon. Make sure that you type it in, just like I did. And there are no spaces between anything. So, GPU preference equals zero. Zero is the default system value. One is power saving. And two is high performance then you can go ahead and set the value to zero as it. This will give you guys more FPS. But, if you guys are experiencing FPS drops, then I highly recommend you to set this to two. That is high performance, so that you can stabilize your lows and frame times, which are much more important than your max FPS. Always keep in mind that lows are more important than your max FPSS. So, just go ahead and put two instead of the zero hit. Okay, and then close. And then you guys need to do is go ahead and restart your PC, as this does require a PC restart in order to be applied properly. So, restart your PC and enjoy your game. And this is going to tremendously help you guys fixing all of the FPS drops and microstrattering inside of the games. If this video helps you guys in any way, be sure to leave a like down below. So, make sure that you hit that subscribe button right now. And with that said, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, stay awesome.